Check this one out. First year of the Thunderbird. And this is an early 55 also. It's a 1955 Ford Thunderbird. This particular car will come with a soft top. Also is going to come with the hard top that you see in the corner. Some other miscellaneous stuff we're going to get into in just a second. But first, let's talk about this car a little bit. Wire wheel covers, as you can see. Take a look at the chrome. Bright work grill up front here. That all shows well. This is an original R paint code, so torch red. It's the original color that this would have been produced in back in 1955. As well as the interior it was a red and white combination interior. Of course, 292 V8 underneath the hood. That is paired up with a manual transmission. If you want to check out the still pictures, so you can see the underside of this car, engine bay, interior. You'll be able to see it with the soft top up, hard top on. Obviously, it's sitting now. Check out the still pictures at uniqueclassiccars.com. Click the link down below this video in the description. It's going to take you right there. And, of course, you can call us, 507-386-1726. All right, a few things that are going to go with this Thunderbird floor mats. There's some in the car right now, uh, some cloth ones. These are rubber ones that are going to go with it. A cockpit cover, so you could actually cover it up without putting either hard top on or the soft top up. And then some miscellaneous parts. Filters, uh, air cleaner, carburetor, wheel covers, spare tire cover if you wanted, and then a bunch of books manuals etc and here's the hard top and that is white of course 55 without the portal so that is the correct top back to the car let's go ahead and take a look at the paint on this one a little bit closer you will find oh maybe a few imperfections in the clear um is the paint absolutely perfect no but at the same time it really does show well one of those get in drive and have some summer fun with this car all right do have a little bit of kind of hazing back here on that fender skirt you can see that it's just the paint shows its age a little bit more than anything i guess and it really looking terrible can't even really get that to show up but there's a few spots you know from the rubber gaskets and the soft top being up or the hard top being on. The chrome and bright work all look nice in this one. Also remember we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course we can assist with transportation and this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email. So here's how they have the spare tire on the rear now the wheel cover on it like I said there was a spare tire cover up there earlier so kind of a little bit of a continental package look and again still pictures unique classic cars.com you're gonna be able to see all these pictures over a hundred in this car Let's take a look at this fender skirt not bad you notice any checking on that one like yellow well from the rear to the front on the driver's side One other thing I want to show you before we put that up and check it out, and then we'll put the hard top on. So I do have the soft top stored behind the seat right here. I'll try to explain this when I have it up too. But it is not connected to the car in any way. So you can take it out, put it on, use it as a soft top, fold it up, put it back here. But as far as the folding mechanism, it's not connected to the car, so it doesn't really fold in there. Take it off, fold it up, set behind there. Make you aware of that. All right. This is the original power seat car. Four way power seat. And again, red and white interior. That's how this would have been produced. Let's go ahead and fire it up. Once you hear it run, 
Check out the engine bay. We'll take a look at those tops. Sure, neutral. Tachometer is working. Fuel gauge came up. Let's say temp gauge. This car hasn't really ran very much, so that shouldn't be up very high. Check this out. Even the clock is working. Aftermarket gauges down below for amps. Looks like oil pressure. Stuart Warner gauges. Those are older ones. Take a look at the dash. Of course, the snaps for that cockpit cover. Slip back to the rear so we can run. Sounds good. It calls. Of course, the exhaust exiting to the rear of the car, slash chrome, slash bumper. All right, I'm going to pause this a second. I want to catch this hood release underneath the dash. Uh, check out the engine bay, and we'll take a peek at those tops. Underside of the hood, is that 292? I did have the wipers working earlier. Remember to mention that, aluminum radiator, four barrel, Edelbrock car, a new battery also was just recently put in, fall of 22, pretty smooth runner, slip around over here and you'll be able to see the data plate in the still pictures, that original trim stamp here also. An early build, 1955. Check that out on the data plate. Vin, you see what I'm saying? All right, so there's an idea underneath the hood. So we got a couple tops to check out, and we'll wrap this video up. Here we have a 1955 Ford Thunderbird going for a drive for you. a three speed on the floor reverses up and left first is down second is up and right and third is down and right though the ball in the shifter says it's a four speed the right blinker indicator works well the left one has worked sometimes and other times it has not blinked
feeder and an oil pressure. Those needles have not moved. I don't believe they do work. Fun little car. And here's the soft top up. So white vinyl. Got a little spot, kind of a piece of tape on there. What is? Appears to be in good shape. Rear windows nice and clear. Now it looks like just that one little spot where they covered something up. Now this particular top does not have the brackets. You can lift it on and off, kind of similar to a hard top. So it'll fold up, go off the car, or you can fold it up, set it behind the seat. But what I'm saying is, is you don't have the actual arm for folding it and placing it behind the seat. You'd have to physically fold it up and set it behind the seat and or take it off and put it in the garage. So it's not physically connected to the car in any means once you undo the latches let's put it that way just to give you a heads up so it kind of works the same as a hard top only is a soft top and you can fold it up put it behind the seat speaking of hard top we'll check this car out with that on and uh, wrap up this video and last but not least here it is the hard top on fits nicely and is also a nice shape also white contrasting like the soft top was with the red exterior so three different looks of this car top down soft top of and then of course hard top of. there it is 1955 Ford Thunderbird Give us a call, 507-386-1726, uniqueclassiccars.com. Click on the link down below this video in the description. It's going to take you right there. And remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with transportation. And this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email.